Is there any fighter, past and present, that you wish you could have trained? Ooh. I, I, there's some really massive names, but it, you won't be training them because they're already talented. Yeah. I'd, uh, I was also a big fan of Donald Curry. Donald Curry was a class fighter. How he came over here and cut Colin Jones apart in four or five rounds. The knockout of Miller McCrory was one of the best left hooks in a super fight you'd ever seen that took him out. He walked in and finished with a right hand. Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns. Oh, amazing fight. The first fight, best ever fight. Um, imagine being in the corner for Leonard Hearns, one of being in the corner for Curry versus them. That's all I can say. You're not really advising, you're just going to do more there, aren't yeah. you? Know I mean? so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. But... Um, uh, Michael Brody was a really good fighter. He was. Uh, my, my brother. He, he, I liked his style, good punch and body shots. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anyone out there. I've been very privileged with the fighters that I've got. And there's no one really that I've really fought or I'd love to have trained him or he's gone past. I think early on in, in, in my coaching career, I think Gary Hibbert was one that I would have liked to have trained. He was a good okay. fighter from up here, Gary Hibbert. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm very happy. I'm privileged to uh, train to the people that I have had. So, what do you think is your favourite fight of all time? Leonard Hearns won. Leonard Hearns won. Leonard Hearns won. Why is that? I just think I had it all. 15 round fight. Um, 15 round fight. Tommy Hearns using his jab. Um, Leonard having to come from behind, swelling on his eye. And then in that 13 rounds, 12, 14, to break out and then combinations when I had it hurt. And when he was finishing with Hearns, the whip, he was still getting in them body shots, we were like a fresh kid in round one. It was just a, it was an enthralling fight, it was a great fight, it was a super fight at the time. Two undefeated fighters, two world champions against each other. They were at the prime, and I think that's where we were a bit disappointed with Mayweather Pacquiao. That would have yeah. been five, seven Anti -climax. years earlier, that would have been the better fight. And uh, they're all waiting for it to be the, the money retiring fight, where well, them two kids were supposed to be. That was it at the time, it was a fantastic fight, it was a, it was a great fight. Uh, yeah, uh, I really love that fight, Hearns. It's sad what happened to um, Hearns because I, I think he went bankrupt a few years ago and he had to sell a lot of his trophies, a lot of his world title belts, etc., etc. A lot yeah. of boxers are putting on funds for him to get him back in a sort of financially stable position. Obviously, you're a trainer now and you obviously you manage boxers as well. Yeah. Do you also give financial advice to the boxers to make sure that it doesn't happen to them? Yeah, it's a, when you manage the fighters, you're trying to get them the most money uh, for them going in there, putting their lives on the line, and when they get that money, it's like I'm straight away into property, 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 property. I want the kids to come in, come out of the sport with the uh, with a house paid for, not to be a slave for a mortgage, and have the health intact and to go away. And it'd be great if they can go into Pundry to work, Paul Smith's doing a bit for Sky, um, TV work, but there's so many ex-champions that are craving them spaces. But I think if you can then retire from boxing, be happy with what you've achieved, not be a slave to a mortgage, have your family and do a job or work whatever else, I think life's good for you. And if you can have a couple of properties where they're paying you, I think life's good, but 100% adamant all the time, trying to enter. I think all the lads in the gym now have bought properties. And, it's uh, good. You know, and, and, and that sort of always exists. And I think uh, as, a, as a manager, to have a fighter come in and leave the sport and have a house paid for outright, I think you've done a good job. And if they have five houses or 10 houses, then it's even a better job. But especially kids that haven't turned professional with the big fanfare or the big um, signing on fees and the big money, if they can manage the money like they're not big money and get in the big shots and fights and use the money wisely. Yeah, I mean, like they say, there's no pension package or aftercare package yeah. for boxers. Terrible.